This is Witchbase News for Friday the 27th of August 2021 I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week Highford's cache unlocks in Colonia Frontier hints at some of the new features coming to Odyssey in update 7 next month. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. As we reported earlier in the week the long silent Highfords cache in the Colonia system unlocked with the Thargs Day server reboot and oh my what a Thargs Day it turned out to be. Whilst the cache may have unlocked in Colonia Highford was running from dark forces based closer to the bubble and the unlocking of the message from Highford pointed to a breadcrumb trail of part messages that starts close to Barnard's loop. I don't want to spoil anything about what you'll find but if like us you're into this kind of lore and story based event then it is well worth following. What you'll discover could have very significant repercussions for the future of the events around the bubble and far beyond. You don't need to pick up the trail in Colonia you can skip one step and start at the Barnard's loop stage. I've put the system name in the video description. There was a degree of confusion right at the start of the event on Thursday as putting the system name into the galaxy map pointed to the wrong permit locked system but a workaround was very quickly discovered and Frontier patched the issue out later that day so if you're following it now you should be good to go. It's worth stating again what the Highfords event points to is very significant. Indeed we think we might have seen accidental hints at a future update that are part of this thread a couple of years ago. I really hope Frontier are following this through to where we think it's going. Time will tell I guess. Either way it's a fantastic event the kind of thing that Elite Dangerous does very well and if you're into this kind of thing I encourage you to follow it up. Frontier gave some small details on part of what to expect from update 7 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey on the Super Cruise News livestream this week. As well as confirming that the monthly development update will be dropping next week the team also spoke about features we can expect to see in update 7 to Odyssey which is arriving next month. Firstly the team spoke about new defence turrets that are being installed to surface conflict zones that will help the faction that currently owns the settlement defend itself from the invading factions vehicles. The hope is that these new much tougher defensive assets will prevent the massacre of troops leaving a dropship by ships ramming them as they fall and also help prevent a lone SRV from dominating when troops are on the ground. Bruce did mention that it would be possible to disable the turrets on the ground. We're guessing this will be via the use of a maverick suit and its handy dandy cutting tool. Rocket launcher wielding enforcer troops will also be making an appearance in the revamped CZs after their recent successful and attention grabbing debut at military ground installations. And in a surprisingly casual almost off the cuff remark the team also stated that NPC ships will also be fighting in the skies above the conflict zones. Bringing NP ships into the fray should finally mean we have the foundations at least of a true sphere of combat experience in the ground conflict zones a feature that was promised all the way back before the alpha started. There are still some very significant frame rate issues that persist around settlements and conflict zones particularly when you're in a ship. So we'll have to see what effect any further optimization work that may arrive with update 7 has on that. But if it works it should make the conflict zone experience much more dynamic. There will be more details on these features in the development update from Frontier next week and there is also a new trailer on its way with the dev update featuring voiceover from community management lead Arthur Tolmy that will talk about and demonstrate the changes. 
One further change that was mentioned was the limit on the number of bookmarks and stored modules will be raised from their current limits of around 120 to a new cap of 200. Currently server constraints prevent the limit from going any higher but the significant added extra will regardless be most welcome. The team then went on to talk about what they describe as a lick of paint that will be arriving to station interiors. Currently one station interior can look very much like another. The plan seems to be to differentiate between different stations functionality with lighting and colouring meaning you should be able to tell what sort of station you're in just from looking around you. The particular example the team showed was from a high tech station which appeared to have had some small geometry changes and was now presented with an overall blue hue to the paintwork and lighting. So just to recap, next week development update which is normally in the form of a forum post detailing what's next. We think there's probably a video accompanying that as well and then next month with a precise date yet to be determined update 7 to Odyssey. So do you think you'll be taking a ship or an SRV into a conflict zone next month and are you looking forward to seeing dogfights in the skies above you or have you been following the trail left by Highford near Barnards Loop? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.